morning. And it is a nice morning. It's going to be a little hot today. But we, uh, we're sitting up on two slabs. So, and we got a nice area to set up on. Get the power to lock up. Instead of blocking the street and everything, they let us come around here set up on this these pads that are going to be houses eventually so it's going to work out nice i think nice clear area for the trucks to get to me and get two at a time hopefully they can keep two at a time to us and we'll get this couple hundred yards knocked out the most that I keep on this truck I used to keep a shovel but it's gone who knows what happened to that and then a rock bar you know you can do a lot with a rock bar especially when your hopper's getting crusty what kind of tools do y'all carry to kind of help the situation when you need to dig some dirt out things like that I'd be curious to know We're level from driver's side to passenger side. We're not level front and back, and I'm probably not gonna get it level front to back. So, really from right to left is all I'm concerned about because everything's real tight right here. So. to do is get my front end down a little bit Get that out the end to look pretty good. it down a little bit too just because of the reaction when you get flat out you get a lot of reaction when you're pumping dryer mud and, and you're really trying to get it going Six 
see her. We'll get these step downs done and we'll be able to go to town. thinking by the way that's reacting that other truck wasn't ready we're fixing to get some air I think there it is when that when the first truck emptied the other truck wasn't ready to go or he was wasn't paying attention anyway that's why we got that little gap right there I heard it the, when the valve switched it sounded hollow Turn the heat up a little more. They got it wet. Those footings are eating up a bunch. Seven percent battery left, so that's not much. Uh, I've had a. He obviously doesn't know I'm trying to make a video here. Anyway, uh, I don't know what kind of change of plans we have, but we do have a change of plans. This slab here isn't going like they originally thought. Uh, they got some plumbing in, in the wrong place. So they're not doing this one, but we've got one right around the corner here that might, that they're wanting to do tomorrow. And I don't know if they've got permission or permitted or what for it, but they're gonna try to pour it maybe. So we'll see, but we're almost done with this lab. We've probably got the garage, back porch, and probably hit some of the driveway as much as we can reach anyway on it so that's where we're at now i don't know what they've done with the concrete if they still got concrete coming for that for another one or not i don't i hadn't heard they just but they just said that we weren't pouring this one because the plumbing's in the wrong place so too bad i bought it I'm trying to get me a drink of water here while i'm waiting on them I need to put some sunscreen on. I didn't put any sunscreen on this morning either. Things are going pretty good though. I think we probably got about 90 yards out. We've been filming for an hour and 19 minutes. Ah, right, new battery, drink of water, and some sunscreen, and we're ready to rock. <laughs> 20 more yards. But still waiting to hear on our other slab. I'm hoping we get it in. I'd like to get to it done today. If not, I might have to go to the lake. Drink beer. Just tear my heart up. That's all I had to do the rest of the day. Well, we're moving. In case you was wondering what was going on, 
Issues, we're not able to do this other uh, other slab, so we're gonna go up the street, park, and pop another one. It was planned for tomorrow. But, yeah, I'm, I'm. They're not able to do this one, so I'm having to move down the street to pump one down there. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess they're just get behind these other trucks. Okay. Yeah. So. All this is secure. That's the main thing is make sure everything's secure. We're not going far, but it may be bumpy. So. Get that shut off. We already got trucks waiting on us because they, they thought we'd be full bore on this other slab by now. So, anyway, let's get moved. I thought a while ago he was 
gonna get blown up on. I thought that might move him, but it never happened. I let it go about two strokes before the before they started putting some in. I thought, yeah, it's fixing to blow up on this next one, and all of a sudden it hit, so it saved him. He wouldn't be so, so enthusiastic about being up there if that happened. going with the builder and the concrete guy and the concrete contractor they're wanting 10 more gallons and the builders not wanting 10 more gallons but these trucks need a little bit more it's not getting good I may have to call this video Water Wars. I'm gonna do what these guys say because they're the ones writing me a check. So if they want me to pump, I'll pump. If they want me to stop, I'll stop. They don't make me any difference. Just unfortunate, 10 gallons go a long way for these guys.
trucks here. Well, the thing is, y'all are dumping concrete that should have went in that other slab that wasn't, that y'all should have already been pouring out. That's exactly. It should have already been, and that's, that's what Gary told his boss. He said, look, it ain't, our, it ain't our fault that y'all didn't do your measuring yesterday and catch this shit where we could have adjusted instead of having a whole nother slab of concrete sitting here yeah. and having to adjust. Because we told, I had Gary tell the area guy, I said, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, if this guy keeps sitting down and we lose a slab, it's on y'all. We ain't paying well, that's shit. A, that's the thing is, I mean, y'all could have just called that other job off and, and told them they're gonna have to eat the mud because, you know, and that's exactly what would have happened because we couldn't have canceled it at that point. It was already too late. Uh -uh. So luckily y'all had a place to go with it. So. He wanted to be a badass. He should have been a badass at 8.30 this morning. Yeah, that dude had one slab all f***ed up to the point where we're freaking troweling on one end and we don't even have everything poured on this freaking end. It ain't far from that right now. I know. about two yards and then this driveway and we'll be able to get cleaned out and go find the washout pit. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration but the truck says it's 113 out here on outside temperature. I don't think so. to wash out or full of sponge back anyway uh, the mud was pretty wet but still I've got to go around the back of this neighborhood to get washed out so we're gonna put a we're gonna put a Gatorade in the water it's got 21 grams of sugar per serving it's two and a half servings That's a good one to do. It's a cute, it's a cucumber melon. Lime cucumber. That was nasty.
world photo wash out thank y'all for watching hope you like it subscribe it <laughs> share it that's it like it subscribe and share it so anyway and go look at our other channel muddy feet tv all one word capital tv at the end of muddy feet all one word uh got some pretty cool stuff there just some hanging out friends fishing things like that Cigarette smoker right there. Put a cigarette sign.